I'm, I'm pleased to be in the company of uh, the incredible Miss Cassandra Wilson. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing okay. What a, what a wonderful show. Thank you. Um, how did the, this musical you know, thing happen? Because this is, uh, this is such a different album. Another Country is your new album. Mm -hmm. It's such a uh, acoustic uh, mix with uh, Brazilian, Latin. I mean, it's really, really something uh, compared to some of your other stuff. How did you walk into that? Uh, it kind of walked into me. Uh, my friend Fabrizio Sati, mm. I had the idea to do a collaboration. And he had worked with me on Glamoured. He was the producer of uh, Glamoured. That was a few years ago. Uh, so he wanted to do a really intimate, warm guitar centered piece. And I said, yeah, you know, I love guitar, so let's go at it. And as we got deeper into it, we realized, you know, it'd be great to focus on the Mediterranean energy and how that mix fits inside of, you know, what we have in America, how it, how it uh, communicates, you Absolutely. know, those two forms those two regions, and we found that there was a simpatico. Well, it must have been great, because he's got two solo pieces on, yeah. the, on the CD. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, Blue, it's, uh, what's, what's one of them is called uh, uh, Number Four, which is uh, <laughs> Deep Blue, Deep and blue. Number Nine. I was like, wow, man, he's, uh, she must really have a lot of a great faith in him, because you've always had tremendous musicians around you. I've been you. blessed all my life. I have, I gotta say, I really have been blessed because, you know, to get on the stage and, and just be the only focus of attention has never interested me. I've always wanted to be around great musicians because they challenge me and I love being inside of great music. So that's, you know, that's just one of the things that I've been blessed with. Okay, so let's go through some of the songs on the new project because it's so exciting. The project is very exciting for me to hear. What about Red Guitar? How did that come about? Red Guitar was actually a song that uh, I, I wrote with uh, um, a red guitar. I had just been given a gift by Marvin Sewell, who uh, used to be a, a, a guitarist in my band. We were on tour the year that, uh, what was that, year before last? We, we did a tour of uh, Europe. And uh, we were driving from right outside of Monaco on the bus to uh, San Remo, which is the first stop in Italy. And the colors just burst open. You know, the minute you get from the, the south of France and you enter Italy, it's like the vibe just like really gets much more vibrant and it's alive. And it's, that's when the song was written. Wow. Wow. What about uh, the second one? No blues. That's quite an interesting. Uh, yeah, no, no more, blues. No more blues. No more blues is um, uh, it's, it's a metaphor. I don't. I don't mean like no more blues as a genre, but no more blues as a, as an underlying uh, theme or an underlying emotion. You know, no more drama. I guess you would say. As, uh, <laughs> as Miss Blige would say, no more drama. Yeah, how did the crowd like it when they, if you if you Oh, they dug it. They got into <laughs> it. Absolutely. What about, uh, now you know I love this on the new CD. That also, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we just got crazy with it. We just said, let's just funk it up. Let's see what'll happen if we funked it up. So we have two versions on the CD. One is a, a kind of a, a funky version and one is an acoustic, romantic version that has different changes, and it's a different approach to the song, and it really uh, pulled me into it, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. As I said, Deep Blue is Mr. Sati himself. Yeah. Uh, just a, a, a really gifted musician. Fabrizio is an amazing mus musician. He has a... Uh, he has a great touch for his instrument and, a, uh, you know, coming from Italy, there's all of that history that he has with uh, uh, what I call Mediterranean flavor. And that's what he brings to the project. Not only is, it, is he a great jazz soloist and guitarist, 
he is able to bring the warmth of the history of the guitar to the project. Absolutely. He seems to be a great musician. I mean, he's, he's all over the CD. It sounds great. Mm -hmm. What about um, the number 10, the song with the kids on it? I just love it. Oh, wow, well, yeah. How did that happen? I mean, Well, uh, the song, I think we, we recorded that song, the, the basic tracks, in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, but Fabrizio made the su suggestion, he said, well, why don't we get some, a, a children's choir to sing along with it? And when we uh, were mixing in New Orleans, we found these, uh, this, these brilliant children who go to uh, NOCA, which is the School for the Arts in New Orleans. And they were mu they're music students. And they are between the ages, I believe, of uh, uh, say, let's say 12 and 15. And they worked out their own parts. And they sang their own parts. And they did a brilliant job. We didn't have to tell them anything. They just listen to the music. They listen to the, you know, this is in Yoruba, the language. And they listen to it and they learned it phonetically. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it, really amazing work. Another Country, the title track. What about that one? That was the last song to come out of the womb. <laughs> that was the last song to be born. And uh, it's a very special song, you know, because it talks about it talks about the energy of human, human beings, how we cycle through lifetimes and how we, we never really die. We just keep meeting each other over and over again until we get it right. Great lyrics. Thank you. During your live set, you guys did an incredible version of Blackbird. Mm. Man. We just started doing that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we, well, we, we did a tour uh, a couple of weeks ago, we started in uh, Chicago, and then we did Detroit, and for some reason the song just came up. Brandon Ross engineered that, I think. You know, we were playing, a lot, playing around with it, and we said, well, why don't we just do it, see what happens. Wow, Beatles will be proud, that's for sure. So give me uh, something that's kind of a little odd. What you, what's in your iPod? What are you listening to? What, what's the great Miss Wilson listening to? Uh. <laughs> wow, I have, let me think. I don't, have a, I don't have an iPod. I have an iPhone that has music in it. And let's see, I listen to, uh, you know, I love uh, to listen to Lakon Babalola. He's one of the artists on my label. He has a great, uh, collection, uh, a great album out called Songs of Icon, and it's all based on the Yoruba Orishas. So I listen to a lot of Orisha music, trying to learn the rhythms. And I also love listening to some new artists that are also on Oja Media Group. Uh, Tawana Shante, she's a great new talent who's coming from out of Mississippi. She's starting to get her, uh, all of her songs together, but she has a, a video out now called Shades of Color and it's brilliant. And Rhonda Richmond is one of my favorite uh, songwriters of all time. You know, I'm getting that, that signal, which means... <laughs> it's time to go now. Yeah, absolutely. It's I'm really been you. great. It's been just wonderful. Uh, <laughs> your icon, my uh, brother, I have to give him all credit for introducing your music to me, and I'm the jazz head in the family. Oh, and, really? Your brother? Yeah, my brother, and uh, I have to send kudos to him. He's, he used to walk around with just you, and uh, just you in his iPod all the time. I was like, who are you listening to? Mm -hmm. I said, that sounds Wilson, man. There's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for everything. Ours. Thank you. Became consuming fire, our bodies burned, melted with desire. And when we wakened in the morning, we were breathing, we were breathing, we'll never die. I've seen so many countries in your eyes.